What's up, guys? Team Freebirds here with team member Billy. Uh, he came, hmm? yes, uh, he came top 16 at uh, YCS London um, with his Altergeist deck. Um, he did it, yeah, Altergeist strategy. Um, you did a sh short profile for um, Lithium, but we decided yeah. that you wanted to do a bit more of an in-depth one here for us. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And we drafted Luke in here as well, who uh, played pretty much the same list. I think only a few differences. You built my deck, but I made it better. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get the cards, you little bitch. <laughs> I actually had the cards. Sure. All right, and you finished X21, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, so um, the I deck performed fairly well. Well, you mm. know what, Billy? Really, I didn't ask. I mean, I finished X2 as well, but you know what? You have to make this all about you, right? Your deck profile is all about you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Okay. Let's get into the profile for people who haven't seen it yet. Um, so, yeah, basically, I played. Um, Tree, this guy. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna yeah, yeah. Uh, stuff, we played the mandatory. tree figure, tree marionette, tree multi, uh, two silk, one can carry. Um, yeah. This is a guy that you don't want to play any more of it, but like you can just basically just search it and have a soft lock with this. Mm. Um, this is essentially granite theory because like you have to summon a faker for your faker to be a play. So, but drawing it is fine as well. So, because you just normally summon it and do your plays. You're so, like, spoofing it away. Well. You're spoofing it away, yeah. Mm -hmm. You also you need to have an altergeist name most of the time. Yeah. If you're spoofing. Um, but that's generally how spoofing works, yeah. 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 <laughs> like, you have nine. Uh, nine you good altergeist. Nine multi fakers, right? Yeah. Because yeah. Protocol. Yeah. Um, and the guy. Yeah. Other multi faker. Melisee. Multi faker yeah. 2.0. Yeah. Uh, so, with three Ash and three Impermanence. Uh, these are essentially my only counters to the FTK. But theoretically, this and Multi Faker like, beats the FTK. <laughs> um, but because uh, you, you Impermanence the Firewall and then they uh, have to remake the Firewall, but you have a Mana Seek to pop, pop out of it. Mm. But it's like if they do the Azatop play, it's a bit like. But it's good, you can like, do this on Azatop and then. Well, yeah, it there, doesn't yeah. do anything, but yeah. And then, then multi faker on resolution. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a on something. But yeah, anyway, it doesn't activate. Doesn't no, activate. Does it? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I never played against. Thankfully, that never came. Never came. You can tell he didn't play any. Yeah. 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 FTK, I didn't play against so. FTK. I just didn't draw this card. Yeah, that's fair. I drew uh, Imprimus Faker once, and it was round one, game one. <laughs> it never happens though. That's the thing. Like it happened once in what, thirteen rounds? Thirteen. I rounds. played Parks. Yeah. 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 No, but yeah. saying like the FTK. No, the um. Impermanence Faker happened once in 13 rounds, just doesn't happen. Yeah, 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 no. yeah, yeah that's fair. Do you evenly Faker more? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, cool. I played Tree Desires one for one. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, this guy's insane. Um, desires of three is like pretty mandatory. Uh, you want to see cards. This guy's insane. Uh, I mentioned the tree card combo in a Lithium's profile, and people didn't know it, so I'm going to have to explain that. Yeah, we'll go over that later. Um, I, that was the only thing I was told. I, I picked up the deck on the Thursday night, <laughs> and I didn't have time to test it. So, the only thing Kugan told me was that one for one multi faker marionette is a tree con combo. <laughs> Literally Exodia, if you're wrong. It happened to me once, but I had a, a strike set and he ashed it. And then I did it differently because I had a faker in hand. So I basically did it the same way, but also had a yeah, yeah, uh, marionette uh, in circulation so I could like, have a really big hex here. Sure. One, two, skip, you win the game. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, three, Sacred Village, and Order. Uh, so these are essentially my traps. Uh, I don't count this as well. Uh, this is like your win buttons against Striker. Yeah. Can be a win button against Thunder Dragons, um, especially if they play Brilliant Fusion Engine, which like half of my Thunder Dragon players did play. Um, and I guess it's okay against like Goki and stuff. Yeah, it's like already against the FTK, like because like their spell cards are like how they like really extend if you have any sort of yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of made this deck like a lot better, like as a choice, I think, because like the two most popular decks are gonna be like Thunder Dragon and Cure. So like, and this is, like a bomb versus two of the best decks in the format, and you don't lose the mistakes. So yeah, it kind of like justifies playing all the guys. That's fair. Uh, so we played for a trap. The rest of the traps we played three last ones. Um, this is my card for the weekend. Um, did you guys on the team are playing Reckless? Um, I played Lost Wind. Uh, it has really good application against Striker because you can like negate a Kigari and then when they make this Jizu, you set it. Mm. So like you, you basically just faded the Kigari and then you get an extra trap for the multi-faker next turn or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a way to like turn off Hayate when they enter battle phase. Um, yeah. And then they just got a like 750 beat stick, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, also make sure your Melissa can attack during the, your turn as well. You yeah, yeah. Shizu. you can make Shizu. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this was like really cool. Um, it's okay against Thunder Dragon because like sometimes if you just like can't get to 
Colossus, you can like use this on a guy and then like spoof him. Sure. Um, but um, yeah, it was insane against Goki. Every game I played against it, because both my Goki players had combo game two, then game three I had this. <laughs> and I just like forced them into a grind game that I won. That's, um, That's pretty decent. Yeah, so I'm play three spoofing, uh, two protocol, and then money. Yeah. Um, these cards are all searchable, so like, yeah. Um, and they're like recyclable as well, so there's yeah, like. Spoofing, so. But sometimes it's nice to draw, so like the argument for three is okay. Yeah. Whereas spoofing is like insane. Um, yeah, you can bend these with. Um, so, so, is, so like they're fine. For yeah. Them, so. And they like recur, recur themselves off soap as well. So yeah, this is just a flippable trap as well, which is really important. Yeah, just a free trap. Landing any point. setup. Yeah, exactly. And then we played the rest of the old man. Yeah. Uh, negate cards. Pretty good. Game. Yeah. Would you usually like set out like all those going close to time or? Uh, yeah. Uh, Siding the time with this deck is really annoying. You have to keep in some like suboptimal cards. Sure. Um, depends on the matchup as well. Mm. Like if I'm playing against anything that can like take a while on their turn one, I'm gonna like not risk having these white cards. Yeah. 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 That's fair. Um, yeah, so it's really extra, um, with three Hexia. Three Flexia, yeah. Yeah, three Flexia and a Prime Banshee. Yeah. Uh, so this is just a way to add Towers. Um, towers or yeah. Ultimate Falcon, yeah. But towers, the, the Towers. The Towers of the format, yeah. Um, yeah, it's Towers, I guess, right? In, in, a, guess, in a way. I guess it could, yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah. This gains the original tap, so it does sure yeah. so. <laughs> Flexia oh, it does, uh, wow, that's, that's game, yeah. It's broken. <laughs> um, <laughs> Link Reaver, we, play two. Make we should game. play two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flea matchup. Um, yeah, Link Reaver and Clara are like the same um, thing. Yeah. Just this is better. <laughs> uh, I sometimes just wish this was a second. I just, like, Reaver. anytime I want to make a second one of this, I just use its ground effect. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that helps a lot. <laughs> um, the Clara lets you, like, play Enduro and, like, Secret Village and stuff when you want to, like, trigger yeah, Metal yeah. Seek and whatnot. And, like, if, if it's a mirror and they, for some reason, they're still playing Rivalry. Then... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's just a Rivalry card. Yeah, it's just a safe card, um, basically. This is a way to uh, inspect the border. Inspect. Insect. Inspect your border. <laughs> inspect your border. Um, Me and mine. Yeah, you, um... Someone asked us as well, you basically just make a Link Creeper with a Metal Seek out of Faker and then you flip a trap, um, no, yeah, you flip a trap, trigger the Faker, that's your one monster effect for a turn with the Faker and you just link into this. Sure. Or, or like um, Metal Seek Manifestation, you just pull or the Manifestation, manifestation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. and normal make Link Creeper or buy a... Well, you need a Faker in Grave, whatever. Yeah, but you still, yeah. You it's need, a way to edit. Yeah, basically, that's the idea. Uh, so then we played uh, the Nightmares, uh, Uni, Serb, Phoenix. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It, it's like it's weird because like every time you're making these, you're like probably just like in a bad position anyway. Yeah. Um, but like theoretically, they they they're good to have. Sure. And um, there's times when you have to link climb into like these. We're making this is good. Making the Phoenix is good. Mm. Um, I won a game in time with this, but like going towards time because he uh, he had a silk coitus and I just like bluffed as if I was gonna make like normal summon something, mm -hmm. and then I like I'm sorry I switched the guy's battle position, yeah, and then uh, he was like I was like anything and he was like no you're good and I go okay link four into power though, <laughs> um, so yeah that was game, um, so then we have the the this guy so you basically make Cyber Dragon go first and you just make this sure. And then we have the cherry targets, uh, firewall and assault. Uh, it's FTK and Goki. Goki yeah. FTK. <laughs> uh, token, chats and GX. Um, we've got three uh, Reaper. Um, again, Goki FTK. Yeah. Uh, I'm not explaining that. Uh, Inspect border. Um, well, it's for like the mirror match. You have to, it was like whatever I went against first. Yeah, I'm playing the dragon. Pretty much, yeah. apart from like striker. Yeah, more or yeah. less. Yeah. Um, then yeah, uh, three Dino. Uh, this is like a, just a second card. It's good against Striker because like they eventually have to deal with it, and you just like tribute sack a card. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a way to like deal with multi roll. It's a body they have to deal with. It's like it applies pressure. It deals which, with like, the border and people outside of the. It, it deals with the border in the mirror match, so I had to put this in the mirror match. Yeah, this matches this game as well as well. Yeah, as yeah. 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 Uh, what's really cool about this as well is that um, 
the deck inherently can apply too much pressure at the start of the game. Mm. So like this can this can be good in time as well. Just as a, sure. As a body. That makes sense. Um, Insane in the mirror as well. It deals with their border than MST is a card. And, and so it's MST, like, yeah. yeah, that's pretty strong. Two for one is always good. Uh, so we've got this card. Um, how do I say? MST but twice. MST but two. <laughs> um, yeah, um, <laughs> it's alright. I don't think I ever drew it. Uh, I sided in against Striker in the Mirror Match, but I never drew it. I resolved three and all together. I just drew this. Oh. Yeah, that card's pretty um, good. Yeah, evenly. Uh, this card's sick. Um, I, I said earlier I never drew Faker. I drew Faker um, in permanence once. Permanence once, but I drew this in permanence every time. For this Faker, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I drew it three times. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty alright. Yeah. That's okay. Um, so yeah, that's the main uh, next gen side. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then, uh, we show the yeah, sure, we'll quickly show the thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, someone commented yeah. us on Lithium's profile. Asked uh, what the combo was, right? Yeah. That's right. So I'll need this card. I'll need this card. Yeah. I'll need uh, uh, this. Yeah. For this. Sure. And we'll need. That's just the stuff in the extra deck, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Selfie, yes, yeah. Um, sure. So basically, you go normal summon Marinetta. Mm hmm. Effect. Sure. It's a trap. Yeah. Uh, I find it's better, generally better to do this because of like impermanence to do that first. Yeah. Uh, and then you have to one for one. Yeah. Uh, you pitch the faker. You summon the Malice from back. Mm -hmm. So then uh, you use the effect of Marinetta to tribute this. Summon Faker from your grave. Sure. Um, and then the Malice equal trigger and the multi Faker will trigger. Yeah. So um, we can summon this from back. And we can use the Malice effect from back. Trigger like another trigger, Faker, right? Another Faker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Sure, kid. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me make a link monster, isn't that right, Kigan? That's correct. What one link make? Monst monster that exists. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you're like so you these guys, right? Yeah. Um, so then you can, like, use this on your opponent's turn, mm -hmm. summon a faker. Um, you can, like, bounce this off. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so like you can you can just revive the multi fake money and then have another marionette or something yeah. happens. Sure. And you can do the whole thing where you like after this chain this. Yeah, so it's just a free card. Yeah. Um yeah, obviously like it's insane. Um uh, you have you can like negate the first thing with Hexy with this mm -hmm. and then like money this back and then trigger the faker and then like summon like Whatever from deck. Yeah. Um, because Hexia isn't um, once per turn, it's just tributing the thing that points to, you can use it again, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So then you could like um, silk bounce something that Hexia again. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Sick yeah. yeah. So, yeah that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, sure. it's pretty but yeah, right. the only time it happened to me, I had Strike. I said strike Nash. So I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty good at the game. Um, it's pretty strong. But yeah, yeah uh, that's the Alter Guy strategy. Um, yeah. Anything change about the deck, or was it? Uh, what was it? I think there's something to the extra I probably would have played. Um, yeah. I basically would have cut this for like a better cherry stagger. Sure. Because um, maybe down to something. I don't, I don't think your deck essentially loses to Sarah Gordon at any point. Um, it was just sort of a safety like, measure. Yeah. yeah um, <sighs> Cerberus could have probably been another. like. Uh, the uh, gem knight guy, but then again, oh, yeah, like you just you just cherries this. The unicorn, yeah, and then it's usually fine. Um, um, maybe like Ningirisu or something. Ningirisu, yeah, I played Ningirisu yeah. and Because yeah. those times we can like have like Link Kribo and Hex here, right? And you just like need to trigger something. Never ever so. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Your extract doesn't really come up unless its name is Hex here. Or Link Kribo. Yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah, that's the deck. Um, Sure. What do you want, like, tournament report or something like that? Yeah, uh, so round one I played against a guy who was just going to the con. Um, he said he was getting back into the game, really nice guy. And I... Uh, I two out him. And then... <laughs> and I, <laughs> I might as well say the game. Uh, round two I play against Thunder Dragon. Uh, some guy from UG. 
uh, to um, uh, <laughs> round three, I can play against Mermaid, and this is really spooky because he's the Mermaid player who got featured round four. So game one, he handles me for four, and I lose. Game two, I win because I went first. Game three, he handles me for four. So I have two cards in my hand. And it's, I, I obviously I have to keep one, so it's Pot Desires. I draw the Panker Tops, and his end board is a uh, Link Rebo po er, Link Spider Proxy. Put into it. so it's like Link Spider. Uh, put into a t Gumblar. Yeah. With a, link, with a proxy dragon and a a, fe a Griffin. Yeah. And I'm like, oh shit, how do I beat this? <laughs> so I draw the Panker Tops and I go summon Panker Tops, uh, kill the Griffin, and then I'm able to hit the Gumblar. And the cards I drew off the Desires were um, Spoofing and uh, Silcordis. So I was able to win the game. Uh, off being handed before. Um, so then, um, that was game. That was, round, that was three. round three. Round four, I play against um, Mech Knight Invoked. Mm -hmm. uh, opening hand game. Uh, game one is this. I'll just show it for reference. Just yeah. Uh, I don't even know what the hell happened here. Mm -hmm. But uh, somebody I know walked past, and I as I scooped, and I just like threw my hand on the table to show him. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know where my third ticket village is, but a uh, third ticket village. Um, so my hand was lit. Is there a third ticket village anywhere? Yeah. <laughs> there. So there that was my only hand, and I was like, okay. <laughs> No I spells. can't do anything. <laughs> yeah. uh, normal summon, summon set. And I had to hold this in case I drew Faker next turn. And this is like blind going first. I didn't know what I was playing against. Yeah. And uh, he goes normal summon Alistair. And I'm like, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was that. One of the deck with spellcasters. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I lose that. And then game two, um, I go first, set some traps. Open pretty good. And then, oh, okay. Um, I'll do like half the report. Uh, so the guy goes, uh, the guy red reboots me, and I go, okay, that's fine. And then he has the five perfect cards, so he came in that turn. Mm -hmm. uh, round six, I play against Brandon Elridge, paint Tony Dragons, or 2 0. Round seven, I play against Tony Dragons, 2 0. Uh, sorry, no, round seven, I play against the Mirror Match, 2 0. Yeah. Round eight, I play against uh, this guy Joshua from England, he's playing uh, Tony Dragons. Really nice guy, but like unfortunately that matchup like just unwinnable for the dragons. It's free for all the guys. Yeah. yeah. So then I finished day one x one one twenty four in Swiss. Yeah. Um, day two, I play against this guy Nick. Uh, he's playing Goki, so he rebeats me game two and I lose, and then I beat him game three. Uh, game so he, he combos game two and then game three, uh, I get rebooted, but I have a hand shot. I have a uh, cherry, so I win the game. Yeah. Uh, game round ten, I play against Parks. I play in the FTK. Uh, there's like a few minutes left on time before game three, and I go first, and I open like nothing playable, so I just essentially pass with like two back row, and he just FTK to me. Yeah. Um, and then round eleven, I play against uh, Tying guy playing Goki, and uh, I two out him. We like the coolest interaction where I open like Judgment Double Lost Wind, mm -hmm. and because I know playing Goki, I Judgment his evenly. And then he f makes a phoenix, I, pop, I negate it, mm -hmm. and then I ash his, uh, he, I, I cherries ash him, okay, <laughs> and then I lost win his phoenix, and then he makes a unicorn, pitches the last card out of the line, and I lost win, chain the last, I used the last win in grave to set itself, and then I lost win the unicorn effect, Yeah. so he passes, I top deck a multi faker, and I pass, and then the guy goes draw, attack, and I can't last win it because it's already been negated, yeah. so I, just go, I'll take 11 pass, mm -hmm. and I top deck a marionette, so I go marionette into trap, kill it. <laughs> I, I'm like, oh, I just play around evenly and don't stand my face someone faker. Yeah. So if he even leaves me, I just keep the protocol and just mm -hmm. flip it and then have protocol, um, multi, multi faker to the this yeah. into his one other card. Mm -hmm. And the game just like, I snowball from there, the next turn and kill him. Yeah. And um, it'll make a hex here to play around evenly, theoretically had it. Yeah. So then, uh, game. That's so. so that's that was, last so, one. Yeah, so I finished X2. I came 23rd in Swiss, I think. Yeah. Uh, top cut, I play against. Um, Thunder top Dragons. cut, I play against Thunder Dragons and 2 1 them. He denkers me game 2, and I have a pretty bad hand. So I like lose that one in game 3. I just. I evenly fake run. Sure. Um, so then, top 16, I play against Striker. Mm -hmm. Game 1, he opens like pretty good. He opens like engaged hair from Rhoda. Impermanence multi-roll, so it is. And then game two, 
I I'm open really bad, but I have an order, so I'm like, oh, maybe this will just get me there. But then it's able to like it burns me to a point where I can't win the game. Yeah, you can just like high out attack. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, I lose. I lose the top foot. Uh, but the event overall was really good. Um, apart from the fact that there's an FDK in the format uh, times two, <laughs> so uh, ban firewall. Um, Shoutouts to the team, Team Freebrews. Mm -hmm. Shoutouts to the sponsors, Card Market. Yeah. Shoutouts to Dan. Shoutouts to Kugan for the list, but me making it better. So Shoutouts to me. <laughs> um, Shoutouts to uh, everyone who was like sound over the weekend. There's a lot of nice people at the event. A lot of mates uh, from like UK. Uh, I'm not going to shout anyone out because there's like 40 people. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> um, shout out to both Jamie Ping and Adam Leonard for lending me cards. Uh, I really, I'd like, I own like, judge, I own like strikes a order and tree desires. Sure. So it was pretty important to have other cards in my hand. <laughs> Slightly um, important, yeah. Yeah, uh, shout out to um, the War Chest and Gamers World for uh, being sound and letting me play Yu Gi Oh! Yeah. Uh, ladies at Bill Erdentogs on Facebook. Um, <laughs> he specifically asked me to say this. Sure. He's a legend. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's everything. Um, yeah. Alter Guys isn't a good deck, but it was the correct deck. Okay. So that's, yeah, that's the first thing. If yeah. that's what you believe. Sure. Okay. Uh, I beat Thunder Dragon, I beat BA. I play no BA. Unfortunate. It's okay. Pretty well. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, that's everything, yeah? Yeah, that's everything. Cool. Shout out to Bill Erdentog. Okay, cool. Alright, yeah, no. right, okay, perfect. Uh, thank you very much, Billy. Team Creepers.